If you fancy yourself a tech lover and knowledgeable in PC history, then you probably know that 3D accelerators, which created the whole PC gaming industry, started around 95-96. You've heard of names like Nvidia, ATI, Matrox, and a hint later 3DFX, but none of them were the first creators of the PC 3D accelerator you could play games with. I don't know who was, but I know one of them who had a cutting edge 3D accelerator before any of the big names, and their name is just not out there. And that was Artist Graphics of St. Paul, Minnesota. Artist Graphics was founded by Horace and Robert Beale, who'd been making industrial graphics cards since 1979. Inspired by the famous monochrome graphics card, the Hercules, they produced the first color add-in board that supported a whopping 1024 by 768 resolution based on an existing NEC 7220 chip. But they wanted to make something better. Sadly, Hitachi, NEC, and Texas Instruments weren't producing new design, uh, chip designs fast enough. So, Artist Graphics produced their own chip in 1992, the GPX. Their cards outpaced ATI and Video 7 cards in speed and resolution and were technically superior at the time. But reviewers complained that the card still required you keep your original graphics card, and so the GPX was a technical success but kind of failed in the market. Their attempt would have been just another technical wonder. But for a chance conversation with electronic arts and a historic trade of wares that occurred between 93 and 94, Theodore at Artist Graphics was having a conversation with Chris Taylor at EA and they decided to do a trade, a hardware for software exchange. And once Taylor received the graphics card, he offered a suggestion. Why don't you add a few things to the chip you're making? So Theodore went back to the engineers and they said, sure, why not? We'll add those. And thus was born the 3GA GPU, complete with OpenGL, Reality Lab, B-Render, and Intel's 3DR technology. It was shown in public for the first time at the Design and Engineering Conference in Chicago in March of 95. The 3GA could push 110,000 Gurad shaded triangles per second and was technically superior to most of the cards on the market at the time. The chips afforded 4 megabytes of VRAM and resolutions up to uh, 2048 by 2048 and refresh rates up to 90 Hz on 1600 by 1200, as well as 8 megabytes of upgradable DRAM on 72 pin chips. Sadly, the company's founder decided to fight the IRS and lost, and the company was sold off to ATI. I got a cool 25 pound box of random ISA and PCI cards from the 80s and 90s from someone in Georgia who was getting rid of them all. In there there was a plethora of cool stuff but one stuck out to me and that was the Artist Graphics 2000 PCI. And that is what started me down this journey of learning all about this. I'd never seen a card with 72 pin RAM modules before. And so I had so many questions. Is it really a 3D accelerator? How did they compare with other ones like them in the era? What was it like to use? Were there any, why were there no reviews? Why is there no YouTube videos or anything about the 3J based cards online? So I loaded up my, my machine with uh, Windows 95 and Windows NT, a Pentium 200 MMX based on the same era of the card. And I rolled up my sleeves and decided to get to, uh, get to work. So that's part one and we'll dig into it next.